22 years of playing the guitar has now turned into 10 years of running a very successful online guitar school. I think you're really going to enjoy the background story, the origin story of Jack Haddad from JH Guitar School. Jack, welcome back to YYE. Thank you. Um, I always like to do these origin stories, right? And, and almost especially with people who are somewhat new to the community and new to the country, right? So, um, but before we get into that, I wanted to get a little bit more background on your kind of music and your guitar experience. So why don't you tell us a little bit about yeah, your, sure. your background? Again, thank you for having me, Jamie. This is a, this is a great show you're, you're doing for the whole community. So, so yeah, I've been, um, I've been playing for 22 years. And really, I've done practically everything you could think of in terms of music. Um, I've played uh, on the big stage, I've played on small stages, uh, played with hundreds and hundreds of musicians from around the world. I traveled a lot for music. Uh, and back in 2016, um, I opened my first music school. Uh, guitar school basically we were specialized in teaching acoustic classical and electric guitar um, it, it was kind of my brainchild you know I, I wanted to do this for a long time I had this vision of how teaching guitar should be because in my opinion right now it's not being thought the right way so um, so that was it I opened my first school in Lebanon because that's this is where I used to live and um, and just a little bit before the pandemic, we switched online, and then the pandemic really helped this uh, soar. Sure. So it, it was kind of a blessing in disguise, because at first we were not really sure what to do, and then, you know, the online thing just hit off. So right now I'm mainly teaching online, sure. and, um, and like you said, so I've, I've been here in the Young and Eglinton community. It's a great community, and I really love to uh, start helping people here. And yeah, offering my services to the local people. Excellent. What caused you, you know, 22 years ago, what caused you to pick up the guitar? There's lots of instruments. Yeah. Why guitar? Uh, maybe because, you know, girls are drawn to that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, That's how enough. everybody starts. Sure. Yeah, believe it or not, you know, they want to impress someone. Sure. And uh, whether, you know, they want to impress their crush or... Um, or their friends or their family and that's how it starts actually for most people even if they don't say it <laughs> sure. and and later on of course it, it might develop into something more passionate and and more more you know deeply rooted sure. some people you know for them music is is a way to express themselves and or um, to escape whatever they're uh, going through so um, yeah was there an influence there like when you were young like a, a, maybe a, a, a band or a, a guitar player in a band that you kind of looked up to and you're like I want to I want to be like that yeah sure but that that was after I started so I started out because uh, all my siblings were doing that uh, before me some were playing piano some were doing but nobody like really did it professionally they all stopped I was the only one uh, but yeah, when I was like 14 or something, uh, I remember we, my friends and I, and then we formed a band. We used to watch those Metallica videos day and night, you know, okay. their concerts from the, from the 90s, uh, especially the big ones in Russia and all of that. These were really big. So when, when I was growing up, we, we used to watch Nirvana, Metallica, Scorpions, all these, you know, metal and classic rock uh, bands. That was amazing. So we, we just wanted to be like them, exactly like them. Okay. So okay. Very <laughs> that's, cool. that's how it starts. Very cool. Uh, Black Album was a big part of my childhood as well. So I'm, yeah. I'm familiar with Metallica for sure. Um, last question that I have for you is, it's one thing to be good at something, right? To be a good guitar player. It's another, I used to be a teacher. It's, it's another thing to be good at something and to be able to teach somebody else how to do it. How did you know that that would, that that would work out, right? So like take yeah. your skills that you had personally, but be able to help people develop them yeah. themselves. Uh, amazing question, actually, because people don't think about that. And probably because you're a teacher, you know that. So uh, playing guitar uh, really well does not mean I can teach it really well. It's a totally different world. So... Um, so yeah, here's the thing. So I started this really not knowing what I was getting into. Um, do you want the whole story? So the whole story is, so the whole story was like, uh, they had, they called me to replace someone. Okay. 
uh, at, at this local music school. And I never taught guitar before, so I didn't really know what I was doing. But I love to help people. And obviously I like talking to people a lot. Uh, I like sharing my ideas with people. So that's how it started. I crushed the gig. It was amazing that uh, the school asked me if I could teach full time. So that's how it started. And then I fell in love with it. And then I got some training on teaching. So getting some training to become a guitar player is something, but then to teach is something else, like I said. And that's, that's, how, it, that's how it started. And, and um, so I've developed my uh, teaching strategies as well as my uh, guitar abilities. So, um, and I'm here. Very good, very good. <laughs> well, Jack, what wonderful story, and I really appreciate you sharing again. And thank you, um, thank you for your time, and I look forward to seeing you around the neighborhood. Me too. Thank you for having me, and um, great community, like I said. Thank yeah. you, Jamie, for doing that. Yeah, absolutely.